ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله dear brothers and sisters this is the refutation of the lecture of muhammad yasir from the hanafi fiqh channel his le first lecture about the true true creed of the salaf uh, his first part the introduction so uh, this lecture is going to be only a refutation of the first lecture and inshallah hope inshallah uh, after to refute his other lectures so unfortunately i mean muhammad uh, uh, brother muhammad yasir in his first lecture regarding the true creed of the salaf he uh, accused the uh, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and his student Hafiz ibn al-Qayyam of having anthropomorphist views, meaning tajseem. But unfortunately, he didn't quote their full quotes, and this is not the proper way of the scholars with proper amana ilmiya, because first you should quote something full, or someone fully, and then you should refute him. This is the way of the scholars. And, um, it's, uh, and also he... In, in his lecture, he said that the true creed of the Salaf was the creed of Tafweed, and it's only Hafiz ibn al Qayyim and his teacher, Shaykh al Islam Ahmad ibn al who, who falsely interpreted the creed of the Salaf uh, and said that we should take the attributes uh, upon their apparent meaning. While the creed of Tafweed, uh, it, it is um, that uh, uh, we leave the uh, only Allah knows the meaning, we don't know the meaning of Allah's hand, Allah's foot, Allah's. Uh, 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 Ulu and other attributes of Allah. So basically, uh, these two points were the main points of his lectures. First, he tried to uh, claim that the creed of the Salaf was a tafweed, and then he he attributed some claims to Sheikh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah and others, Hafiz Ibn al-Qayyam and Sheikh Ibn Semin and others. So inshallah, in this first lecture, I'm going to refute these two main claims. First, uh, showing what the creed of the Salaf was from their own books, so you can see for yourself if that creed was a creed of tafweed, meaning we don't know the meaning of it, only Allah knows, and we don't believe in the apparent meaning, or it was the creed of Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah or, or the creed of his student. But unfortunately, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Muhammad Yasser did not follow the way of the elder Hanafi scholars, like uh, Sheikh, uh, uh, the Imam of his time, Allama Badruddin al-Aini, the, the author of Umdatul Qari, Shah al-Sahih Bukhari, uh, who uh, interpreted Sahih Bukhari and he defended Sheikh al-Islam Ahmad ibn Taymi and freed him from all these allegations of Tajseem uh, 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 and Ibn Nasir al Dimashqi gathered uh, Hafiz uh, Badruddin al Aini's uh, defense of Ibn Taymi in his book uh, Arad al Wafir. So, uh, and as well, Mullah Ali al Qari defended uh, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymi and freed him from the creed of Tajseem and tropopomism attributing a body to Allah. No, uh, 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 I have in front of me uh, as introduction the book Jalal Aynayn bi Muhakamati ibn al-Ahmadayn of uh, Allama Sayyid Abu Abi Barakat Khairuddin Nu'man ibn Mahmud Effendi al-Aluzi al-Baghdadi. So uh, the, uh, this is the book of uh, Sheikh Nu'man al-Aluzi, a great Hanafi scholar, son of the great Mufassir Mahmoud al aluzi who was the Imam of the Ahnaf of his time, like Badr al Naini was the Imam of the Ahnaf of his time. Sheikh Mahmoud al aluzi the author of the famous Tafsir Ruh uh, al Bayan, was uh, the Imam of his time. And his son Nu'man uh, al aluzi wrote this book in defense of Sheikh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, and he defended him from the false allegations made by uh, uh, Hafiz uh, ibn Hajj al Haythami, not the uh, 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 Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, uh, the, the author of Fatul Bari, but the other one, al-Faqih, the Shafi uh, jurist, uh, author of Zawajir and uh, Fatwa Fiqhiyah. So basically in his book he, he defended Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and he said that uh, Ibn Hajar al-Haythami didn't follow the way of the scholars. He attributed many things to Ibn Taymiyyah without quoting him and this is not the way of the scholars. The way of the scholars is to quote something then refute it. Uh, I have uh, uh, translated the first part of the book of uh, Sheikh Salih Ali Sheikh against Muhammad ibn Alawi al Maliki. These are notions as Fahimuna. And we can see the way of the scholars. First, you quote the saying of uh, your opponent, then you refute him. And likewise, in my previous lectures, I guess Mumtazul Haq uh, uh, and the Brailvis and the Obundis, 
I have fully quoted from these books, and I even scanned their books and shown the scans of their books, so people can judge with uh, 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 unbiasedness and uh, to, uh, with no partiality. So I have shown before in my lectures on Wahdatul Wujud and the Deoband. I have shown the fatwa, the link to the website of Darul Ulum Deoband, saying Allah is present everywhere, but we don't know the kafir like the others. They say Allah is above the arsh, and they say yeah, Allah knows the kafir. We say Allah is everywhere. And we don't know the kafia. And I gave the link to Dar Ulum Dirban. Then I gave the link of Imdad Dudla Maki and all these people saying the seven riches, the state of Uluhiya, and all the quotes from uh, his book and Imdad Al Mushtaq. Also, uh, I mean, in my other quotes, uh, uh, lectures on, on uh, Wahdatul Wujud and Ibn Arabi, I've quoted from Fusus al Hikam, the explanation of Jami al Fusus al Hikam. And then I've quoted from uh, Sat uh, the refutation after of Sat Tahtazani al Hanafi and Mullah al Qari al Hanafi, who have said the statement of these statements of Ibn Arabi are kufr upon kufr, that the worship of idols was nothing but the worship of Allah, those who worship idols among the people of Nudaid in the ocean of knowledge and whatever. Uh, and the quotes of uh, uh, Jami, who interpreted Ibn Arabi, saying all creeds are correct, like, uh, and Jami quoted, um, and he defended Ibn Arabi's creed that all creeds are correct. Quoting the poem of Ibn Arabi, "Aqad al Khalaq fi ilahi aqaidan wa naqadu jamia ma taqadu." So Ibn Arabi, uh, I have quoted these books, I have scanned them and showed them, uh, uh, and this is the proper way when you refute you. And Mullah Ali Qari in his refutation of Ibn Arabi in his book Ibtal al Qalb bi Wahdat al Wujud, from which I'm going to publish a book taking many extracts of his of this uh, book of Mullah Ali Qari, and I've added fatwa of two hundred scholars. Fatwa of Badruddin al Aini, Fatwa of uh, Ala al Bukhari al Hanafi, Ibrahim al Halabi al Hanafi, Ibn Shahna al Hanafi, and many major Shafi and Maliki and uh, Hanbali scholars, like um, the, the famous one known, Abin Hafiz al Bulqin, his Fatwa, his son's Fatwa Subki, and his son's Fatwa, Ibn Sayyid al Nas, Hafiz al Mizi, uh, Ibn Daqiq al Aid, and all the other Shafi scholars who declared Ibn and who, read, who have written books like Hafiz Sakhawi. Hafiz al Baqa'i, Ibn Muqri, and 200 major scholars from the four, Ibn Hajib al Maliki, leaders from the um, Maliki school, leaders from all schools of thought who have quoted Ibn Arabi's speech, who have written books against Ibn Arabi, quoting his speech, and then have declared him to be kafir. So that is the proper way, instead of declaring someone to have touched him, we should quote his sayings. Like the scholars have quoted Fusus al Hikam, Mullah Ali Qari has quoted it. Mullah Ali Qari even quotes the explanation of Fusus al Hikam to show that uh, what Ibn Arabi really means. And uh, so this is the way of the scholar. But obviously, I mean, uh, the way of uh, Ibn Hajar Haythami and uh, unfortunately Muhammad Yasir is transferring things to their opponent without quoting their speech. Because if they quote the speech of Ibn Taymiyyah, we can see the reality of, of uh, what, who, who's. Uh, Quotes Ibn Taymiyyah is referring to and which great Imams is quoting from. And obviously, the Deobandi layman, they don't want like Zahid al Qasari. Zahid al Qasari would say, Oh, Dara Qutni has a bad creed, Hafiz uh, Abu Sheikh is a Mujassim, uh, Ibn Abi Hatim has a bad creed, uh, Hafiz um, uh, Al Asal is a Mujassim, this one is a Mujassim, this one is a Kitab Tawhid of Ibn Khuzayma. Uh, Razi said, Fakhrudin is Kitab Shirk, this Kitab is a Kitab of Misguidance, this book of Salafi had touched him. So Zahid al Qasari would say it because he, uh, he would uh, insult many of the Imams and reduce them, but the Deobandi generally don't like this way. They try to hide uh, and they just target Ibn Taymiyyah and his student Hafiz Ibn al Qayyim, but they don't want to, they want to show themselves that we respect the Imams. Well, in reality, I mean, uh, uh, we know what they think of the Salaf and their opponents from the, the other Madahib. Obviously, they're going to defend all the Hanafis, but for the others, we know. And even a uh, Kosari student, uh, Ahmad al Ghumari, wrote a book against his teacher, Zahid al Kosari, which he named Rad al Kosari al al Kosari. And in this book, he, uh, Hafiz al Ghumari, who is a Sufi Shadil, he quoted many insults of. Uh, 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 Zahid al Kothari against Imam Malik, Shafi, Imam Ahmad, and how he was reviling all these Imams, uh, Al Bukhari, and others. So people can um, refer to these books. But the Deobandi, unfortunately, they followed the way of Zahid al Kothari, Ibn Hajar Haythami, and all these people, and not the way of Mullah Al Qari, Badruddin Al Aini, Norman Al Aluzi. 
And Omar al Aruzi, mashallah, is a very gr uh, great scholar. He has even written a book, Ayatul Bayinat, about the dead not hearing. And he gathered many sayings of the Hanafi scholars about the dead not hearing. And there's even uh, the Ubundi Mamati scholar, Muhammad Hussein Nelbi, who's got a three volume book, Nidai Haq, and another one that I have, in which he gathered, I don't know how many quotes of Hanafi for telling the dead does not hear. Alhamdulillah, the Mamati scholars, Muhammad Yasser should look at them and how the day, I mean, uh, uh, are better than the Hayati and how they properly research and how they attribute a uh, quote uh, uh, and follow uh, the, the Hanafi fiqh uh, uh, about the dead not listening while the Hayatis, they believe the dead listens and they go to grave, do Muraqaba, do Kashf al Qubur and uh, others. So, a very good book of Muhammad Hussein Nilbi, Nidai Haq. So to, to show that the opinions of the majority of scholars about the uh, Hanafi uh, scholars is that the dead does not hear. So uh, Norman al uh on page of, uh, 553, first he quotes a uh, uh, hadith of, um, uh, he quotes the, the objection of, um, of uh, Ibn Hajar al-Haytami in his Shar Shama'il and uh, the, the famous hadith in Tirmizi about a pro a Professor saying Allah uh, in his best form in, in a dream and then Allah touched with his hand on the chest of the Prophet I and mean, the Prophet could feel the coolness of uh, of it. And Ibn Taymiyyah explained this hadith and uh, Ibn Hajar objected to Ibn Taymiyyah as a tafsir of this hadith. And he attributed a tajsim to Ibn Taymiyyah in the way he interpreted this hadith. And then Nu'man al-Aluzi quoted Mullah al-Qari saying, after quoting the speech of Ibn Hajar, Aqul, meaning uh, Mullah al-Qari al-Hanafi, great Hanafi scholar, author of the famous Mishkat al-Masabi, uh, a book of uh, explanation of um, uh, very great relied upon by the scholars and especially the Hanafis as well. So he said, Mullah al Qadi, Aqul, Qad sanahum Allah ta'ala min hadihi simatu al-shani'ah, meaning Allah protecting them both, meaning Ibn Taymiyyah and uh, uh, Ibn al-Qayyam, from this evil uh, uh, dir uh, uh, the direction, when it's ba and from this ugly attribution, I mean the attribution of tajsim and tropophomism, that they attribute the body to Allah. And so he's saying Allah protecting them from this uh, evil direction and this ugly direction. And whoever reads the book Shah Manazil as Sairin, Manazil Sairin is a book of uh, uh, Ismail Harawi, a Hanbali scholar, it's a book uh, uh, on Sufism. And his explanation is by uh, Hafiz ibn al Kamal Josia, uh, and his name is uh, Madari Jasalikin. He said, whoever reads this book, basically Madar Salikin, it will co become clear to him that these two, Ibn, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Al-Qayyam, are from the greatest of the Ahl Sunnah. Wa min they are from the saints of this Ummah, subhanAllah. And they are free from what the enemies attribute to them from Tashbi and Tamsil, meaning anthropophism, that they link Allah's verb, uh, Allah's attribute to the creation's attribute except that these two went in the chapters of attribute to the mazhab of the Salaf, upon which are the, Im the noble Imams, meaning the four Imams and the other, Lais ibn Sa'ad and uh, al and, and the other Imams. SubhanAllah, so this is Mullah Ali Qari, one of the great Hanafi muhaqqiq. And after Nu'man al-Aluzi quoted al-Munawi, he also, in explanation of this, said, فَقَالُ ibn Hajar غَيْرْ mustaqim." The saying of Ibn Hajar is not uh, right. He said, first of all, uh, they mentioned this in a dream, as, uh, and the books are present, we can check, so it is mentioned in a dream. Uh, uh, and he said, secondly, <laughs> We believe that Allah has a hand, not like the hand of the creation. And there is nothing stopping from putting his hand, but not in a way that resembles uh, the, the creation. But rather, with Allah is putting his hand according to his jalal. And he said, وَعَجَبْتُ مِنْ شِيْخِ إِبْنِ هَجَرِ كَيْفَ أَنْ كَلَا هَذَا مَا وُجُودُ الْخَبَرَ تِرْمِزِ And he said, I'm uh, surprised that Sheikh Ibn Hajar, how he objected to this, why uh, the hadith is in Tirmidhi. You know that uh, Allah put his hand on the Prophet and he could feel the coolness 
on his chest. And then um, uh, Norman Aluzi explained the saying of uh, Ibrahim al Qurani also defending uh, Ibn Taymiyyah from, and freeing the, him from Tajsim and all other uh, uh, claims, uh, unfounded claims. So, this is the way of the great scholars who freed Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn al Qayyim al Josiah. So, now let's see what is the creed of the Salah from their own books. So, obviously, um, Nobody can, we, we can't know the, the, what they do, these people, like I've said before, they do masakh of tarikh, they don't show the history properly. What they want to do is just target these two and hide all the Han, uh, Hanbali scholars and all the other from the Maliki and early Shafi scholars who in the books of Tafsir and others refuted the Asharis and, and their creed and refuted the Tawil and established the attributes upon the apparent meaning. So, and everybody who knows a little bit history or reads knows that the Hanbali scholars, many of them have declared the Asharis and Maturidis innovators. Some of them were very harsh against them, uh, imputing Kufr to Asharis, and they had lots of fights. So, whoever reads a little bit the book knows it's not Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn al Qayyim's problem. Like Ismail Haru, uh, we quoted before, he wrote a book, this great Hanbali scholar that even the Sufi uh, respect. He wrote two books against the people of Kalam, the Asharis and Maturidi, uh, al Kalam, and his other book is Al-Farooq. And in al Kalam, he established the attribute of Allah Listi while rising uh, above the throne. He said, Bidatihi, by his essence. So when uh, Ismail uh, uh, Al-Ansari Al-Harawi used the word Bidatihi, it is clear that uh, he knows what meaning he, 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 the meaning is known, like Imam Malik said, Al-Istiwa Ma'lum. So for him, he doesn't say the meaning of istiwa, I, I don't know what it means, I just read it and I don't know what it means. No, because why would he say that if the meaning is unknown? So it doesn't make any sense, like I've quoted in my lectures against Mumtazul Haq, Qairawani uh, was a second Malik, they call him, in his Risala. He said uh, that Allah is, he is above his arsh, wala arshi al majid bidati by his essence. And uh, Hafiz ibn al-Qim al in his book, Jewish al ali Ishtima al Islamia, he quoted many explanations of early Maliki scholars of the Risala of um, uh, Qairawani, and they all said, Bizatihi, Allah's above his arch by Athens, they used the word Bizatihi. So, uh, I mean, this, from all this quote, it, it makes it clear they understood the meaning of Istiwa, and I've quoted in my reputation against um, Molana Muntazul Haq that in Sahih Bukhari, Ma Bukhari quoted from the Salaf, the Tafsir of Istiwa, to mean Irtafa'am, rising, and ala meaning elevating and rising. So these two, if they didn't know what the meaning of Istiwa is, why would they use the word ala and Irtifa? And, and as well, they used other meanings. They also used the meaning Istiqrar, settling open. You see, and I will quote from uh, Baghawi and uh, Hafiz, um, Ibn Abd al-Bar al-Maliki, great early authorities from the Maliki and Shafi schools, to, to show that the Salaf did tafsir of the word istiwa. So when they did tafsir and they added to it the word bidatihi, uh, uh, we know for sure that they didn't do tafwiz of uh, istiwa. So, uh, I mean, because these people, they have their own version of histories, especially the Deobandis. This is for Ismail Ansari, but there are many other scholars of the Hanbalis who criticize the Asharis and the Maturidis, and they, they attributed Kufa to them and many other things. Uh, there is also Abdul Qadir Jilani. Abdul Qadir Jilani, a Hanbali scholar, he came before uh, Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn al Khaim al Josiah. How uh, would me the first volume of Ghunia Talibin translated into English by Mukhtar Holland, the Sufi? So we're going to read some parts of it. It's a Sufi translation. People can't, cannot even say it's mistranslated uh, by Salafis and Ahlul Hadith. And, and, and as well, people have to know that Abdul uh, Qadir Jilani, Ibn Qudam al-Maqdisi, and uh, Hafiz Abdul Ghani al-Maqdisi were cousins, and they were both students of Abdul Qadir Jilani. And Hafiz Abdul Ghani al-Maqdisi, he's a great scholar, Hafiz. He's the author of the famous Umdatul Ahkam, which are after Hafiz ibn Daqiq al um, explained. And, and he is also author of the book uh, uh, Al Kamil fi Marif al Rijal, and it's a great book about the narrators of the six book of Hadith. And he, he, he has done a huge work about the, uh, the, on narrators of Hadith. And after Hafiz al Mizdi took this, 
and after Ibn Hajar took from Al Mizi in his Dahzi, uh, Ibn Dhahabi took in his Tahzib, and then Ibn Hajar took it after uh, and expanded. So, uh, Mashal, not only the Shafi scholars have done a great work on Asma Rijal, but also the Hanbali, and especially Hafiz Abdul Ghani al Makdis, who was a great scholar uh, and a student of cousin uh, of Ibn Qudama, student of Abdul Qadir Jilani. What happened to him, as mentioned by, by the Muhaqqiq of the book of Abdul Qadir, uh, of um, Abdul Ghani Makdisi, Iqtisad fil Iqtiqad, uh, of the uh, Hafiz, uh, uh, the, the author of Ghamadi, Dr. Uh, Ahmad Ghamadi, he explained in the introduction that he, in Damascus, he was teaching uh, uh, so, some books and he was speaking about the attributes. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, Shafi is in the, uh, the people of the Hafiz ibn Hajar wrote in his Zayl Tabaqat al Hanabila, he wrote that the people of Tawil opposed him, they complained to the rulers, they wanted to debate him, and finally, they, with their propaganda against uh, Hafiz Abdul Ghani al Makdisi, he has to exile to Egypt and they follow him to Egypt tried to, to get the ruler of Egypt against him, but he didn't fail in, in their schemes and the evil plots against him. So what, if the problem is with Ibn Taymiyyah and uh, Ibn al-Qaim al, al Josia and not with Abdul Ghani Makdisi, Ibn Qudama, and, uh, why would these scholars, uh, people that will attack them and did propaganda against them, so they had to flee their country? These great scholars and hurfaz, ulama, why, when they were criticizing the people of Tawil and attributing, I'm going to read the creed of, inshallah, uh, Abdul Ghani al-Makdisi after, and Ibn Qudam as well, uh, and uh, also Hafiz Ibn Hajar narrated in his book Durar al-Kamina that Hafiz al-Mizi, a Shafi scholar and student of Ibn Taymiyyah, when he was reading the book Khalq of Hal al-Ibad of uh, uh, Imam al-Bukhari in the Masjid, uh, Umayyad Masjid, the Shafi'is, meaning the Asharis, obviously, they said, oh, he, he wants, he's claiming to target the Mu'tazili and the Jahmi, but he's targeting us. And this because the, 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 the Asharis, the late Asharis, they did the same Tawil as the Mu'tazili. They say, still means he stole a conquering and the hands mean the last power. So when he was quoting the narrations of Bukhari against the Mu'tazili and Jahmi, they felt hurt. And <laughs> they said, he's targeting us. So they had Hafiz al-Mizi, one of the greatest Shafi scholars. They had him imprisoned. And then Ibn Taymiyyah, when he heard this, he, he went to the rulers and he went with his followers and had permission to free him. And, and uh, Hafiz al-Sakhawi, in his book, Daw al lami also mentioned that Ahmad ibn Sharai, another Shafi scholar, he was uh, also faced uh, persecution because of his teaching, Khalq of Ala al ibad of Bukhari. So these people don't have only problem with Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Qayyim al Josiah, they have problem with Hafiz al-Misi, with, with uh, Abdul Ghani Maqdisi, with anyone teaching the books of Salaf. You know, because that's their problem, but obviously in front of the layman, they don't want to speak bad uh, of the Imams. <coughs> but we know the, the reality of these people. Of Zahid al Kosari, who insulted the Salaf. And unfortunately, if I have time at the end, I will read from the book Nurul Anwar of some Hanafi Muqallid, how they attributed ignorance to Imam Shafi for an issue for which they say even Muawiyah judge uh, with a Shahid with a Yamin, meaning with one testimony and, and an oath. And they said Muawiyah judge with it, and this is also Imam Nawawi wrote in his Shara of uh, Sahih Muslim, it is the Mazhab of Imam Ahmad, Imam Malik, uh, 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 and um, Imam Sha uh, Shafi, and uh, almost all the majority of the scholars and almost all the scholars of Hijaz, all the fuqaha. So this is the mazhab of the majority of this ummah, judging, and they said that Imam Shafi'i is ignorant and it is among the ignorance that won't be forgiven on judgment day. Meaning all these scholars, Shafi'i, Malik, it implies Malik, Ahmad, they all were uh, guilty of doing uh, an, an act of ignorance by judging this uh, hadith. And they attribute ignorance to the Imams uh, in Nurul Anwar of Mola Jivan. And he said, Our ancestors used to say this, this else I wouldn't uh, dare to say this. So, this is the uh, we will see the reality of the uh, many of the Muqallidin, how they attribute to Imam Bukhari that he didn't have fiqh, and his uh, teacher Abu Hafs al Kabir forbade him to give fatwa well, but because he said that the two people who drink from the same goat. Uh, they become forbidden to each other. Um, 
and Hurma is established. So then this story has no snap, but that's unfortunately how it is. The, the ta'asub and the people, how the ta'asub, they didn't take fear of each other, they didn't pray, they didn't marry each other. The book Bahr al Raq is filled of such stories. So now let's go to the subject and let's read Ghunya Talibin, who these people, Ashraf Ali Tan, we call not only the Brailvi, but Brailvi have so many fairy tales. I've done in my previous lectures about their fairy tales that uh, his eyes is always set on Lohi Mahfuz, the story they quoted from Bahjatullah Salar and fairy tales. Satanic Khurafat. But uh, unfortunately, even Ashraf Ali Tanvi, like I've explained in my book uh, on the Deobandi, a critical analysis of the Sufi creed of the elders of Deoband and Tablighi Jamaat, on my book, and it's also on my website in a summarized way, and it has scans to the original books of Deobandis. I will put a link below for people to check and read the story below my, on my channel, below the link. That uh, even Ashraf Ali Tanvi tells strange stories that one night uh, from a book of Sufi hikayas to fairy tale that one night Abdul Qadir Jilani, the horse, walked up and he took one of his students somewhere in Mosul and then they had a meeting, one of the person died, they for a janazah on him and then they, they were talking between themselves and then Abdul Qadir Jilani brought someone from Rome, a kafir, he, he had a cross, he broke his cross and made him an abdal. Meaning one of the Abdal, or Sufi, I mean, they have this ranking of fairy tales, I mean, horse called Abdal or that. And one of the Abdallah died, and the Abdul Qadir Jilani, they, they gathered with other son, and they made a kafir. And they, and, and they made him, the, now Zubillah, the Prophet couldn't make his uncle Muslim, Abu Talib, but these people, they come and just, just bring a kafir room and break his cross. These are the, the, the creed of the, unfortunately, the Tasawwuf, the fairy tales, the Khurafat, Fusus al Hikam ibn Arabi, Batini knowledge. Unfortunately, so for Ashraf Farid Tanvi, he's the host. Why you don't take the aqidah of your host? And this, some parts of it have been quoted by Hafiz Dahabi 100 years ago. People cannot say, like Ahmad Raza Khan, uh, uh, Brailvi does, or oh, Wahhabis have tempered and whatever. So this translation is of Muhtar Holland, who's a Sufi. <coughs> Volume 1, page. Uh, 174 after sp he speaks on the attributes he said he loves and hates he disapproves and he approves meaning Allah he displays anger and manifests displeasure he shows compa compassion and he forgives he gives and withholds he has two hands Yadan the, the Arabic was I do those I mean the author the translator puts them in bracket, uh, bracket as well he has two hands Yadan and each of his two hands is a right hand Yamin then he quotes the verse, Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and the heavens are rolled up in his right hand. And then he carries on mentioning uh, the attribute, and he said, he, meaning Allah planted the garden of Eden with his own hand, and the tree of bliss, Shajara Tuba, with his own hand. He brought the Tuba with his own hand, and he delivered it to Moses from his hand to his hand. And he also spoke to Moses by addressing him directly with no intermediary channel and without an interpreter. The hearts, kulub of his servants are between two fingers of the all merciful Al Rahman. He spins them around, yukallibuha, as he wills, and instills in them whatever he wishes. On the day of resurrection, the heavens and the earth will be in the palm of his hands, as we know in the tradition from the Hadith, and he will set his foot in hell, Jahannam, one part of which will shrink away towards another's, while he cries, enough, no more. Then he carries on speaking about the attributes. Allah exalted his created seven heaven, one above another, and seven earth is one below another. The time it takes to travel from the highest earth to the lowest heaven is 500 years. And the distance between each heaven to the next is a journey of 500 years, meaning each have seven heavens, each heaven, the distance between them is 500 years. Okay, there is water above the seven heaven, and the throne of the All-Merciful, Asha Rahman, is above the water, meaning seven, uh, the seven heavens, above there is water, above there is the throne of Rahman. I've spoken about this hadith in my lecture about um, Mumtaz Rukh, one can refer to it, it has weakness, but it's about the mountain, the eight angels in the shape of goats carrying the Asha of Rahman in Sunan uh, Ibn Majah and Abu Dawud and others. Sunan Tirmidhi. So, and then he says, Allah is upon the throne, 
And beneath him are the 70,000 wells of light, of darkness. Then he carries on the throne, has bearers who carry it. And then he mentioned, the, and you shall see the, the verses, and you, you shall see the angels circling around the throne. Then he carries on. He is far above any resemblance to his uh, creation. No place is beyond the scope of his cognizance. Ilm. It, is not spares, it is not permissible, however, to describe him as being in every place. The correct statement to make is that he is in the heaven, Fissama, upon the throne, Al Al Arsh, as he himself said, the All Merciful has established himself upon the throne, Al Rahman wa Al Arsh Istawa. And then he quoted the verse, Thumma Istawa Al Arsh Rahman. And then he quoted the verse, Unto him the good works ascend, and the righteous deed he, he does exalt. So, okay. And then look at this totally destroyed the notion of tafweed he these people Mumtazul Haq they don't like the hadith of Jariya but look what Abdul Qadir Jalani the ghost of Ashraf Ali Kandi we don't call Abdul Qadir Jalani a ghost what he's what he's saying about the hadith of Jariya as for the Prophet he judged that the community had truly accepted Islam when he said to its members, where is Allah? And they all pointed toward heaven. So for him, it is a test of Iman, asking where is Allah? And if the reply is correct, then it shows your Iman. I'm going to read it again. As for the Prophet, he judged that the community had truly accepted Islam when he said to its members, where is Allah? And they reported toward the heaven. The Prophet once said, according to the tradition, tradition uh, of Abu Huraira, then he mentions uh, another hadith. So th this is how of the Qadar Jilani, for him it is a test to, to test the, the validity, truly, uh, if you have truly accepted Islam, this is the test, where is Allah? And these people like the Qataris and the others, they, 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 they reject this hadith and give it that we, some, we can eat now, Billah. A hadith that says, Talaqi bil qabul how many of the Salaf quoted it? We're going to see it after. Ibn Abd al Bar, Dara Putni, uh, uh, Ibn, um, Ibn Khuzayman, they quoted many of the Salaf. This hadith against the Jahmiya, those who deny Allah's attributes. <laughs> then Abdul Qadir Jilani carries on. It is proper to use the expression firmly establish himself, meaning istiwazat, in a quite straightforward, literal sense without subjecting to the false interpretation. So it is the English translation in quite straightforward literal sense. It's upon the itlaq, without subjecting to false uh, interpretation that will, it must, you see, so must also be, uh, be clearly understood to mean the self-establishment of the div divine essence, this diva at that, upon the throne. And then he carries on, not in an abstract sense of exactness, ulu and elevated dignity, refer as maintained by the Asharis. You see, so no, uh, Ashari, so he's refuting the meaning of the Asharis. So he was against the Asharis. It's not even the Taymiyyah al Qayyim. It's all the Hanbali scholars basically were against the Asharis. And not in the sense of control, istila, and domination, khalaba, as maintained by the Mu'tazila. So to, during the tafsir of. Uh, uh, Isiwa by Stila, control domination, this is the tafsir of the Mu'tazila. These do doctrines are unacceptable. Then he carries on further with the other attribute. He quotes a report of Kahb al uh, Akbar. We believe this because of what has been reported on the authority of Sayyid ibn Musayyab to the effect of Kahb al Ahbar, who said that Allah said in the Torah, I, I Allah, am above my servants and my throne is above the wall of my creation. I am upon my throne wherever. Whereon I regulate the affairs of my servant, and nothing pertaining to my servant is ever hidden from me. And then Abdul Qadir Jilani said, Indeed, the fact that he is upon the throne is mentioned in every scripture that has been revealed. Fikulli kitabin unzila to every prophet who has been sent forth to deliver his message. Ala kulli nabin ursila. Without further explanation, bila kaif meaning kaif means how it is, the, the detail of how it is. <laughs> then he carries on. That obviously he's saying Allah has the attribute of power and ghalaba, but none of this therefore can be 
what is meant by self-establishment is tiwa. Self-establishment must be one of the attributes of the divine essence, if I tell that, since he has informed us of it, mentioning it explicitly and stated it emphatically in seven verses of the Quran. And since these views confirmed by the Prophet tradition, it must be an attribute sifa that is intrinsic to him, lazima lahu, and properly befitting him, la bihi, meaning befitting Allah, like the hand, yad, the face, waj, the eye, ain, the hearing, sama, the sight, basa, the life, hayat, the power, qudra, and all of which are properly attributed to him, as well as his being the creator al khaliq, the sustainer al raziq, the giver of life, al muhin, and the causer of death, al mumit. So for him, we should believe in the attribute of istiwa in the same manner as we believe in the hand, same manner as we believe in the face, same manner as we believe in the eye, same manner as we should believe in the hearing, the sight, the life. So this is one of the greatest we're going to see later in Sunan Tirmizi, a greater proof that the Salaf didn't do Tawil, they put the attribute of istiwa, hand, foot, with the attributes of hearing, seeing, Life Qudra. If um, now we ask Muhammad Yasser, if the Salaf did, uh, why the Salaf put these attributes together? No, they didn't say, oh, these attributes, we affirm their meaning. The meaning of hearing is hearing, the meaning of life is life, but we don't know how Allah's life is. But as for hand and foot, no, we don't know what the meaning is. You know, the Salaf they applied the same rule upon, I'm going to see from other books of the Salaf. They quoted all these hadiths and they applied the same rule upon them. We read them as they are without kaif. That they, that, so if they said the Salaf did tafwiz of Ain, then they have to say they did tafwiz of Sama and Basar. We don't know what it means. And this is what the Jahmiya said. Allah doesn't hear, Allah doesn't see, Allah doesn't speak. Uh, and he put it with Khaliq and Raziq. We don't know what the meaning of Khaliq and Raziq is. I mean, how stupid it is now. I mean, ilm al kalam, I mean. Then he says, we do not depart uh, from the book and so now we we'll read the Quranic verse and traditional khabar. We we'll believe what these two sources contain and we trust the detailed understanding kafia, meaning we entrust the kafia of the divine attributes to the knowledge of Allah. As Sufi and Ibn Uayna said, just as Allah described himself, in other words, the reading of it is self-explanatory, meaning the reading is known in the Arabic language. And there is no need of further interpretative uh, commentary. This is all what is required of us because the rest is mystery ghaib. And then he carries on about the hadith of Nuzul. The believer must acknowledge and be thoroughly convinced that he exalted his descent is not to the heaven of this lower world, sama ad dunya, however he wills, and just as he wills. And that he then forg forgive those who have sinned and offended and disobeyed those of his servants, that is to say, whom he chooses and wishes to forgive. This is not to be understood as meaning the descent of Allah's mercy, Nuzul al-Rahmah, and his spiritual reward, so as maintained by the Mu'tazila and Ashariya, meaning he's denying the tawil made by the Mu'tazila and Ashari. And then he mentioned uh, other attributes. Uh, about the, uh, those who refute these attributes, he, he mentioned some narrations of the Salaf. Isaq ibn Rawa said, someone asked Is Isaq ibn Rawa, what are these traditions you are relating to the effect of Allah descending to the Lord's heaven? Does Allah then rise up again? Does he move about? Isaac replied by asking the questioner, would you say of Allah that it's possible for Allah to descend and to ascend and, and to do so without moving about? When the man gave the answer, he said yes. So Isaac went on to say, so why do you have a problem with this? He, and then he said, Yahya ibn Ma'in said, if a Jahmi asks you, how does he descend? You should, you should reply to him, how did he ascend? As for Fudal ibn Yahis, he offered this advice. If a Jahmi tells you, I'm a disbeliever, kafir in a Lord who is supposed to descend, you should say to him, I'm a, dis I'm a believer, mu'min in a Lord who does whatever he wills. So subhanAllah, all these explanations, a refutation of the Jami who said, oh, how, is, uh, how, how can Allah descend, how can, and he said, if we believe in the Lord that does whatever he wills and how he wills, and, and uh, you should ask the Jami, how did Allah rise then, if he denies, then after he spoke about the Quran, and he quoted that the letters of the Quran are not created, 
Then he spoke about uh, Allah speaking with a sound and voice. So this is the creed of the Ghos, uh, uh, the, the Abdul Qadir uh, Jilani. So now let's see the book Iqtisad Fil Iqtiqad of Abdul Ghani Al Maqdisi. So he narrated it in it in this book. Page 88, 89, yeah, that's the one. Obviously, he mentioned the, uh, uh, about the chapter of Fulu. He mentioned in which hadith? The hadith of Jaria. Why in the book of Aqidah they mentioned the hadith of Jaria? Well, for these people, it doesn't mean uh, it's either weak or it's, uh, it, it doesn't mean Allah is above the arch. Na'udhu billah, na'udhu billah. So he mentions this hadith uh, in the book of Aqidah. Uh, uh, with the other uh, hadith about uh, after the verses about Hulu, he mentioned this one, the hadith. Ain Allah qalat fi sama, qala man ana, qalat anta Rasulullah sallam, qala aqtika fa inna hamu'mina. Narrated by Muslim Abu Dawood Nasai and others. And then look at the commentary of Abdul Ghani al Maqdisi. Wa min ajhali jahlan wa asqa fi aqlan wa adalla sabi wa sabilan min man yaqulu anna hula yajuz. أن يقال أين الله مع تسري صاحب الشعر بقوله أين الله he said from the greatest of ignorance from the most idiot of intelligence and from the most misguided way is the one who says it is not permissible to say where is Allah while the the صاحب الشعر the prophet said where is Allah سبحان الله so how can you do تأويل how oh, can this prove the creed of Tafwid of Abdul Ghani Maqdisi? Is he an anthropomorphist? He says it is the greatest ignorance to say, uh, the, 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 to forbid saying, Where is Allah? And more, I remember Mumtaz Luk saying the Salafi are misguiding people by asking, Where is Allah? But for Abdul Qadir Jilani, their so called ghost, it is attesting the true Islam. For him, it is the greatest ignorance and the greatest misguidance from the right way to to object to uh, asking the question, where is Allah? Then, after when speaking about the hands, he mentions the hadith about the hands. With the verse, بَلْ يَدَهُ مَبْسُوتَتَان And the verse, مَا مَنْ عَكَانْ تَجُوتَ لِمَا خَلَقْتُ بِيَدَيْ Allah said to Iblis, what uh, forbid you to prostrating to the one I created with my hands. And, and, and then he mentions uh, other uh, hadith, the hadith of, of Musa, uh, uh, arguing with Adam that Allah created you with his hand and uh, and this and that and, and then Adam uh, had the overhand and he said it was decreed before the famous hadith so after this he said we do not say the hand is like our hand nor would you attribute a kefia meaning how it is no, no, we do teshbi. No, we say it is a high, uh, hand la, 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 like hand, uh, like the hand of the creation. And we do not say that the hands mean powers, as it is said by people of ta'til, those who deny the attribute ta'wil, those who extrapolate. But not mean with dalika, or not be to sifatu min gari ta'hdi. Ta'hdi here means I mean without kafiya, like he said before. Wala teshbi. And it is not correct to hold the hands upon the meaning of Qudra. It is one. And it is also forbidden upon two favors. The favors of Allah cannot be counted. <coughs> and then he said, And he said the, the trustworthy from the trustworthy have narrated from the Prophet ﷺ the attributes of al mahabba love, al mashia wal irada his desire and will, al his uh, smiling, wal farh his joy, ajab, wal bud his hatred, wal sakhat his anger, wal kar his um, his dislike, wal rida his satisfaction. And all of the attributes was Sayyid Masaha and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
And he said, some ignorant people, the, the souls of the people of Ta'til, they have aversion when they hear this uh, hadith. So he mentions the hadith of the hands with the other attribute. He said, we believe in them, we do not, uh, uh, we do not say hand like our hand, we do not uh, uh, attribute any kafia, we do not do tashbi, we do not interpolate hand, and after hand he may mention the other attribute. Like the love of Allah, the, his intent, his love, his uh, uh, liking. So if these people, they say Abdul Ghani Maghdisi did uh, tafuid, why did he mention the hand with his uh, uh, sifat of Muhammad Mashi and Irada? Do you say Allah's Irada, we don't know the meaning of Irada? Uh, Allah is fa'alun uh, lima yurid, but we don't know what yurid means. Na'udhu billah. So this is how, uh, it is clear that he did not, by quoting the hands, he did not intend uh, tough with. Now we go to his cousin Ibn Qudam al-Maqdisi, who unfortunately some people say he did tough with, but uh, there's an article on a website <laughs> because he had some uh, Mujmal saying in his Lumatul Iqtiqad on the website sahifa.org uh, in which they quoted from Ibn Qudama saying in Zamatawil the mazhab of the Salaf is to have Iman in the attributes of Allah Ta'ala in his names with which he described himself then he carries on without giving an explanation of Ta'wil that opposes its Zahir Zahir meaning the apparent meaning without giving an explanation or a tawil which opposes its zahir. So here, it, it's clear that uh, Ibn Qudam al-Maqdisi affirms, uh, uh, affirms the apparent meaning. And in his book, Isbat Sifat al ulu we're going to see clearly that he uh, establishes the meaning of uh, istiwa uh, upon the apparent meaning. And, uh, and when he says, we don't know the... Meaning, he means the meaning of the kafiyah. He doesn't m means the tafuiz, else his speech would be contradictory. I mean, there's an, you can refer to the article on sahifa.org about Ibn Qudama. <coughs> so in his book, his Basifat Ulu, he starts, uh, uh, and he said the creation, فَتَرَوْمْ عِنْدَ نُزُولُ لِلْكَرَبِ بِهِمْ يَلْهِدُونَ سَمَا بِعَنُنْهِمْ وَيَرْفَعُونَ نَحْوَ لِدُعَى أَيْدِيَهُمْ so you will see them at the time of difficulty in the Nuzul al-Karabi. They will look at the sky with their eyes and raise their hands towards it. And they will, uh, and they will wait for, for the coming of the help from Allah. So this is one line from him. Then he quay, 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 um, mentions all the verses about his Tiwan. And then, The good speech rises to him. The angels uh, ascend to him. And Imam Bukhari, like I've said to in the lecture on Mumtazul, after the chapter of Arsh, he quoted the, the, the chapter Ta'rujul Malakat wa Ruhu Ilayhi. So you, we can see the relevance of Imam Bukhari and his uh, fiqh. Uh, and then he quoted Inni Mutawafika wa Rafiya wa about Isa Allah saying, I will rise you, you to me. And then, وَهُوَ الْقَاهِرُ فَوْقَ عِبَادِي Allah is above his uh, servant. يَخَافُونَ رَبَّهُمْ مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ The fear, the Lord uh, above them. And then, look at this, subhanAllah. وَأَخْبَرَ مِنْ فِرْعَوْنِ مِنْ فِرْعَوْنَ أَنَّهُ قَالَ And he informed about Fir'aun that he said, يَا هَا مَنُ بْنِ اللِّي سَرْحًا لَعَلِّي أَبْلُغُ الْأَزْبَابِ أَزْبَابَ سَمَوَاتِ فَأَتَّلِعُ uh, Pharaoh said to uh, Haman, uh, to Haman, oh Haman, build me a tower so I can reach the, the, the horizons, the horizons of the, the, uh, the heavens so I can see the Lord of Musa, but I believe him to be a liar. And Yani, Adunu Musa Kadiban, meaning I believe Musa to be a liar, Fi Anna Allah Ilahu Hufi Samai. And I believe him to be a liar in, uh, in uh, his saying that Allah that uh, in um, the fact that Allah is his divinity in the ha uh, heaven. So he quotes these verses to show that he says, I believe you to be a liar, meaning in your claim that Allah is above the arch because 
He can only say to Musa, I, I believe you to be a liar, if M Musa had informed him, my Lord is above the heavens. So this is what he said, يعني أظن موسى كاذبا في أن الله إلهه في السماء. Then after he mentions the blessed hadith, or the had he mentions the hadith I have mentioned in my lecture against Mumtaz on, you see, have mercy upon the people of the earth and the one who is يا حمكم من في السماء, the one who is above the heaven, above the the heaven will have mercy upon you. Then the uh, and then he mentioned the hadith of Jari again, of, of the slave girl, and فقال الله رسول الله إن الله فقالت في السماء فقال من أنا قال أنت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال أعتقا فإنها مؤمنة and he said it has been written by Muslim Muslim Malik and others from the Aima. So for Ibn Qudamah this hadith establishes creed. And others, so let him see after the hadith, uh, the nations of the Salaf. He, he narrates from Malik, Allahu fi sama wa al fi kulli makan. Okay, this is saying of Malik. Then he carries on to say, say, say saying of Sufyan al Thori that kuntum, meaning by his knowledge. Then he, he mentions the saying of Ahmad bin Hanbal. Then he mentions. We we'll carry on the saying of Ibn Mubarak, which is authentic and coming from so many books, so, so many narrations. Someone asked Ibn Mubarak, how do we know our Lord? He said, Qala fi sama sabi ala arshihi, above the seven heaven, above his arch. Wala naqulu qama taqulu al-jahmiya. We do not say like the jahmiya say, inna hu ha huna wa ha huna, he is here, he is here. Then he mentions a narration, Qala Abu Bakr al-Atram, hadda sani Muhammad ibn Rahim al-Qaisi qala, قلت لي أحمد حنبل يحكي أنا ابن مبارك قيل له كيف نعرف ربنا أن إمام محمد سيد وهكذا هكذا وعندنا it is the same for us then he carries on another narration of أثرم then in the next page he narrates from narrations of سليمان بن حنبل who said to حمد بن زيد one of the great فقي of the سلف أي شيء كان حمد ابن زيد يقول في الجهمية فقال which things was حمد ابن زيد حمد ابن زيد saying about the جهمية and سليمان ابن حرب said that حمد ابن زيد used to say كان يقول إنما يريدون أنه ليس في السماء شيء these people the جهمية want to say that above the heaven there is nothing you see so how can they do the fuzz of this it is clear by itself that the Jahmiya want to establish that there is nothing above the Arsh and this is what these people, they deny it Allah being above the Arsh and this is what we don't know what the meaning is so this hadith I think it has been enough from uh, Ibn Qudama to see this hadith has been narrated by Hafiz Ibn uh, by Hafiz al-Dhahabi in his Ulu uh, and we're going to see how many people the Hamad Ibn Zayd al-Basri Hafiz Ahd al-Ahlam a great faqih he said Abdurrahman ibn Abi Hatim al Razi, which I mean, Zahid al Khori said has a bad creed, but for us, he's one of the Imam Ahl al Hadith like Abu Sheikh, Al Humaydi, Bukhari, and Dara Qutni, and all these people. They are Imam. We take our religion from these people, our creed. We don't take from Fusus al Hikab and Jami and all these people, and Dawud al Qaisari. Dawud al Qaisari in his Fusus al Hikab even quoted. Uh, he said that uh, Ibn Arabi said in his book, Anqa al Maghrib, Anqa is a mystical bird like the Sphinx. I mean, it's Harry Potter, I don't know what it is. Uh, Anqa is a mystical bird of the Sufis. So, Ibn Arabi in his book, Anqa al Maghrib, he said that Abu Bakr on the judgment day will be under my banner, like he was under the banner of the Prophet in the, in the field of uh, Ittiba. He said, Abu Bakr, Naadu Billah. Abu Bakr will be, and uh, this is Dawood case, I mentioned that I have all these quotes, and uh, inshallah, I mean, in my next book on Ibn Arabi, uh, uh, in which I have gathered 200 photo of scholars, there will be this mentions of Dawood al Qaisari, of Ibn Arabi saying Abu Bakr will be under my banner. They, these people take their aqidah from Ibn Arabi, Sheikh Akbar. We take our aqidah from Ab Abdurrahman bin Abdi Hatim, from Bukhari, from uh, Adarimi, from Ibn Abi Shayba, from uh, 
and Naim ibn Hamad, we take our aqidah from, the, the, from these scholars. <coughs> May Allah protect us from uh, the, the Zahid al Kotha, he must follow us. So, Qala Abd al-Rahman ibn Hatim al-Razi Hafiz, fi kitab Rahdal al-Jahmiya, haddasna Sulaiman ibn Harb, Samiyatu Hamad, ibn Zaid yaqulu, inama. Meaning the Jahmiya want to say that there is Laysa Fi there is no divinity above the heavens. Hafiz ibn Ajab said, Qultu Maqalatu Salaf Aymatu Salaf Bas Sahaba and Allah Fi Sama. He said the saying of the Salaf and the Sahaba is that Allah is above the heavens, when Allah Al Ash and Allah is above the Ash, when Allah Fauqa Samawati is above the seven, when he ends in the same dunya, and that he descends. Mumakala to Jamia, and the Lord of Jamia, and the saying of the Jamia that Allah is in all places, Ta'ala Allah and call him Allah's proof exalted from the saying. Balwa ma'ana aina ma kunna bi ilmi, but rather he is with us wherever we are by his knowledge. And he said, Mumakala to Mutakil Mutakalim in the people of Kalay Kalam, they said, and Allah, Allah is not above the heaven, meaning like the Jahmiyyah, they said Allah is not there. Same, the Jahmiyyah, he, uh, he said that um, Hamad ibn Zaid, the Jahmiyyah want to say that Allah, there is no divinity above the arch, and same, the Mutakil meaning they say, and Allah is Fi Sama. This is why they objected to Mizi reading Khalq al Fa'al Ali, but this is why they had uh, uh, Abdul Ghani Makdisi stop him teaching. Because they don't want these narrations against the Jahmiya hurting them so badly. So that's why they're attributing this on, oh, it's Ibn Qayyim, it's Ibn Taymiyyah, but it's not uh, Ibn Abi Hatim, it's not Zayd uh, uh, Hamad ibn Zayd, it's Ibn Taymiyyah, he is Mujassim, Na'udhu Billah. Na'udhu Billah, Thumma Na'udhu Billah, the greatest awliya from this Ummah, as said by uh, 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 Mullah al-Qari. Who also, I mean, declared that Sheikh Ibn Arabi as the greatest of Kafir, Sa'at Tahtazani, and others have written books quoted from Fusus, inshallah, in the right time. So he said uh, that the Monte Kalim is saying, Inna laysa fi sama wala ala al ash, that Allah is not above the heaven, nor above the ash, wala ala sama wad, nor uh, above the heavens, wala fil ard, nor, nor on the earth. وَلَا دَاخِلَ عَلَمْ وَلَا خَارِجَ عَلَمْ Nor inside the universe, nor outside the universe, meaning he is non-existent, نَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا هُوَ بَيْنُونَ خَلْقِهِ He is not separate from the creation. وَلَا مُتَّسِلْ بِهِمْ He is not, he is not separate from the creation, neither joined from it. وَقَالُوا جَمِيعَةِ دِي لَشَى صِفَةُ الْأَجْسَامُ اللَّهُ مُنَزِيُونَ عَلَى الْجِيمِ He said all these attributes uh, Allah being above the arch, above the heaven, are the attributes of the, the bodies and Allah's spirit from body. We do not dwell, uh, go deep in it, and we mention the Nusus. I, I, I said, We do not say with your saying, because this, because these are the attributes of the non existent. He's neither separate with it, nor joined with it. He's uh, neither inside the creation nor above it. The, he said these are the attributes of the one who, the non existent. Ta'ala Allah and Il Adma, and Allah is exalted from the absence. But who are mawjudun mutamayyiz and khalqi, rather he's present and, and distinct from his creation. Mosuf bima wasabi nafsu, described with what he described himself, min annahu fawqa arshi bila kayf, and he's above his arsh. Bila kaif meaning be, when we don't know the uh, knowledge of the reality. And he said, Hamad ibn Zayd lil Iraqi nadirun Malik ibn Anas lil Hijazihin fil Hijazihin fil Jalala wal Ain. He said, Hamad ibn Zayd, he is the similar to Malik for the people of Hijaz. Uh, for the people of Iraq, he is similar to Malik for the people. And this hadith of, uh, of Hamad ibn Zayd, uh, the muhakkik of the book, he said, Akhraju Imam Ahmad fil Musnad. And Ali ibn Muslim. So this hadith of um, uh, Hamad ibn Zaid, it is in Musnad Ahmad. You see, it's not in Ibn Taymiyyah ibn Al-Qayyim, it's in Musnad Ahmad. Now you're going to deny Musnad Ahmad? Also in Abdullah 
uh, Ibn Ahmad in his Kitab Sunnah, inshallah we will quote Kitab Sunnah after. Khalal in his Kitab Sunnah, who, uh, I mean some of these people that object to Khalal, but you can see the same narrations are in this book, it shows that all these books are authentic. Ibn Bata in Zibana, Ibn Qudama, <coughs> from Athram I have quoted Ibn Qudama, Ibn Al Qayyim, okay. And Ibn Taymiyyah declared it authentic and all the other scholars, Sheikh Al-Bani and all others. Sheikh Al-Bani said it has many other ways in the Sunnah of Abdullah Ibn Ahmad. So this narration is 100% authentic. And we have seen the speech of uh, uh, Hafid Dhabi on it that what the Salaf say and what these people say. So we can see there's no tough ways in uh, Abdul Qadir Jilani, Ismail Ansari, Abdul Ghani Maqdisi, he's the teacher of Dial Maqdisi, another great Hanbali Muhaddis, and he was up on the Salafi Aqidah as well. Ibn Qudama and Sifat al ulu Ibn Rajab, because he quoted from Ibn Qudama and Ibn Rajab that these people put the attributes upon the, the unclear verses, al mutashabihat but when the scholars use the, uh, say that the verse are... Uh, of the attributes are under the verses of Mutashabihat, the unclear verses, they don't mean the kafia is unknown, you know. Uh, what they mean is the kafia is unknown, they don't mean that the meaning is unknown, you know, because even in the Timian is more so what the philosophic, <laughs> like uh, uh, it's written on the website uh, Sahifa, the talk, he says that these verses, uh, the attributes are in it, and I have much more fatah, why, if we have time at the end, Ibn Timian says as well the attributes, are in the Mutashabihat, but it's the Kafiyah because this verse of the Mutashabihat has two readings among the companions. Some stop at nobody knows the Tawil but Allah and the people of knowledge, Rasikhun fil Ilm. You see, that meaning the Rasikhun fil and some Sahaba say nobody knows the Tawil except Allah, the Rasikhun fil Ilm say. So, depending on both reading, one of the meaning will be that. The, the, uh, only Allah knows the Tawil, and here it would mean only Allah knows the Kafia. And we will see in the speech of um, uh, Iftisam of Shatibi that he himself, when he put the attributes in, in the Mutashabihat, what he mean, meant was the Kafia, because in his Iftisam, he also says that the, the Sirat, the scale, uh, the miracles, turning a staff into a snake, all, all these verses are because the philosophers denied the torment of the grave, the, the existence, physical existence of the sirat, of the, and the physical existence of the scale, they denied the top punishment of the grave, and they denied the miracles, like uh, turning the staff into a snake and, and uh, giving life back to a dead. And, uh, and then they denied the attributes. So he put all these things together, and he has a long, lengthy discussion, we will see after, inshallah, we have time to that, on the Sam. And Muhammad Yasir only quoted general speech of uh, Shatib ibn al -Aytisam. If you quote it fully, you can see that he's speaking about the karamat, the attributes, the scales, the torment of the grave. So will Muhammad Yasir say the torment of the grave, we don't know what it means? The scale, we don't know what it means? The, uh, the, the, the snake turning into a, a stick, we don't know its meaning? No, the kafia is unknown. And uh, Imam Shatibi used this verse of Mutashabihat and he said people who use it uh, are his innovators. He, is, he was intending the, 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 the Mu'tazila and Jahmiya because they use the verses to deny Allah's speech, seeing Allah uh, and denying the punishment of the grave. So he was using them. He, he didn't, I mean, I will read it to you. He didn't say those who believe Allah's hand but not like our hand. It refers to them, those who believe in the literal meaning of hand or foot. So Ibn Rajab, in his book about the dispute of the highest angel, published by Message of Islam, he says, when Allah puts his hand on the prophet's uh, chest, he says, as for the description of the messenger gave uh, on page 15, regarding his Lord, then it is real and it is true, one must believe in it, as Allah described himself, while negating any similitude unto him. Whatever is confusing, difficult, too much should... Whatever is difficult to comprehend, one should do like those firmly grounded in knowledge whereby Allah praised them by stating that whenever they come across an unclear matter, they say we believe we need the wall of it, meaning clear and unclear, are from Allah. <coughs> so 
this is he meant this, but in his speech he he didn't say all oh, the meaning of the hand and the foot is unknown. It's just a general statement, you know. And in his other book, of uh, so when they said that the verses are among the mutashabia, they they deny the kafia. Ibn Taymiyyah also put it in mutashabia, but he denies the kafia, not the knowledge, because. Uh, in his book, uh, in Bian Fad al Ilm Salaf al Ilm al Khalaf, the excellence of the superiority of the knowledge of the Salaf among the Khalaf, he mentioned on page 36 in Dar Sunnah Publishers, <coughs> he blames the people of Kalam, and the one is that people of Kalam, they studied the book of Kalam. He said, those who negate much of what is reported in the book and Sunnah concerning the attributes due to implication in their view of a likeness between the creation and creator. So he was blaming people of Kalam to deny the attributes in the Book of Sunnah because for them it implies uh, seem like a teshbih between Allah and his creation. From among, from among these are the Murtazila who said, if he can be seen, he must be a body because one requires a direction in which to see. If his speech can be heard, heard he must be a body. Those who negated his history what did so by meant by means of the same reasoning, this is the part of the Mu'tazil and the Jahmi about whom the Salaf were agreed uh, uh, as to their being innovators and misguides. So then he criticized uh, others who went, um, who attributed other speech of the Salaf, uh, which the Salaf didn't say. And then he said after, the correct position in all of this is the position of the righteous Salaf and the living all verses and a, and a hadith concerning the attributes as they came without explanation. <coughs> asking how. You know, asking how. He said, we leave them without asking how. Or likening them to the creation. So what Ibn Rajab denied was the kafiyah without asking how. <coughs> so this is, and he criticized the mutakallimun and the philosophers and all the people of Kalam. And he mentioned the saying of Abu Zura Razi, whoever possesses knowledge, meaning of, yet his knowledge is not refined, as you should, he said, I mean, whoever requires speculative theology to spread it, his knowledge, you should have nothing to do with him. Whoever possesses knowledge, yet his knowledge is not refined, and as such, he requires speculative theology, kalam, meaning whoever requires for his knowledge, Al-Makalam, to spread it, you should have nothing to do with him. Meaning, all these people who teach books of Kalam and this, you should have nothing to do with them, Na'udhubillah. So we have seen the speech of uh, Ibn Rajab. Now we will come Ibn Khuzaymah, Salaf, <coughs> born in 223, best generation of Islam. We, ex we take Aqidah from these great Im uh, uh, Imams. He said as well, قَدْ عَلَّمْنَا الْجَلِيلِ Meaning Allah, the, the great. He informed us, في هَذِي الْآيَاتِ he, he mentioned all the ayat above Allah being, you know, the same ayat that Ibn Qudama mentioned, آمِنْ تُمَّمْ فِي السَّمَا And the others, يَا عِسَى إِنِّي مُتَبَفِّكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيْهِ And, هُوَ الْقَاهِرُ فُقَى But the old verses, about Allah being above his creation. And he says after, Allah SWT taught us in this ayat, Anna Rabbana fawqa malaikati, that Allah is above his angels, wa fawqa ma fi samawat, above what is in the heavens, wa ma fi lard, and above what is in the heavens, from min dabatin wa alamna anna malakata khafuna rabbahum min fawqihim, and he has informed us that the angel feels the law that is above them. Wal mu'ati la tazu'umu anna ma'budahum tahta al malaika, and the mu'ati la those who denies Allah's attributes, they claim that the ma'bud, meaning the object of worship, divinity, is below the angels. And then he said, تَعْرُجُ الْمَلَكَةُ وَرُهُ إِلَيْهِ إِنَّ مَا يَعْرُجُ شَيْئًا مِنْ أَسْفَلِ إِلَى الْأَعْلَى You see, he said about this verse, <coughs> he, he says 
that it after quoting the Fatah Rujul Malakat Walu Hile meaning the the so the angels and the soul meaning uh Jibreel uh uh ascend to him Inama Yaruju Shayun min asfal il ala it is known in the Arabic language that it's only from the bottom to the top that uh, you ascend to the front and fork above la min ala ila dun not from the uh, the bottom to any other direction wa asfal fatafhamu lughat al arab wa taghalatu he said the know the arabic language and do not be mistaken so he's saying that the rising of the angel is from bottom to top and he's criticizing the, the those who, who deny these verses. Then we will read further in Kitab Tawheed. Same. He quotes the verse, Ya Haman ibn al-Isahan al-Al yablughu al-Azbab, Azbab al-Samawti, fa'attali wa ila ilayhi Musa, Firaun saying to Haman, build me a tower so I will reach the, the heavens, the limits, the, the limits of the heavens, and so I can see the, Lord of Musa, and he said, Fir'aun alayhi lahnatullah, and for uh, Ibn Arabi, he died of unbelief. I mean, Fir'aun na'udhu billah. Fir'aun alayhi lahnatullah, ya'muru bi binaihi sarhin fahazb anahu tala ila ila, anahu yattali'u ila ilahi Musa, wa fi qawlihi wa inni la adunhu kadiban, and in his saying of Fir'aun, I believe him to be liar, Dalalatan ala anna Musa qad kana allamahu anna rabbahu jalla wa ala ala al fawq. And he said the saying of Pharaoh, I believe him to be liar, is clearly showing dalalatan upon the fact that Musa qad kana allamahu, that Musa informed him that his Lord jalla wa ala is above and a'la wa fawq. This is the uh, Hafiz ibn Khuzayma. These people, they preserve the Sunnah. They preserve our deen. These, uh, this is why we Salafi, we Ahlul Hadith. We attribute our nisbah to this Muhaddisin, to this Aima Ahmad Shafi'i, Malik, uh, Isaq ibn Rahu, and all others, Lays, and all others we attribute to them. We Salafi, we Ahlul Hadith. Their understanding is our understanding. Then he mentioned the hadith of the Jariya. Fatiqa fa'inna mu'mina. So this is enough to show that the creed of Ibn Qudama in this short reply. So after seeing, I mean, I have to see Hafiz al uh, Ibn Abd al al Maliki. Obviously, I mean, I've taken the, uh, because I don't have the Tamheed with me. So I have translated the, I have the translation of our brother Abu Rumaysa <coughs> of Tamheed. Uh, and he said in his tamheed, I'm just going to quote some few quotes from it, uh, under the uh, hadith number 8 about Allah descending to the lowest heaven, Hafiz ibn Abd al-Bar, one of the highest authority in the Maliki school and one of the great muhaddis, the Bukhari of the West, he says, there is evidence in it that Allah is fi sama, meaning over the heaven, over the throne ala al arsh, above the seven heavens, fawqa, at is said by the Jama'ah, and this is the proof against the Mu'tazil and the Jahmi, and the saying that Allah is, every, is in every place, not over the throne. Then he quoted all these verses that uh, have been quoted before. <coughs> oh Jesus, I will take you and raise you, and all the others. And he said, from the right of the words is that of Allah, meaning the words of Allah, that they be taken upon the literal meanings, ala haqiqati, until the Ummah is agreed that what it meant is the metaphorical meaning. Where there is no way to follow what is revealed to us from our Lord except by the way. And the speech of Allah is directed towards its most famous and obvious meaning. Meaning is upon the apparent meaning. And if all the claims of metaphors were allowed for every claimant, then nothing would be established from the action of worships. And it befits Allah that he speaks only with that which the Arab understand according to the constraint of the speech. From what is correctly understood by the listener. And his siwa is known in the language and understood as ulu, meaning highness, and rising above, and something established, and settling, istiqrar fihi. So he said the meaning of ulu, as mentioned in the Arabic language, and the salaf is istiqrar. And he, Ibn Abdul Bar said, and his siwa is istiqrar in highness, he has settled in being high. 
And then he mentioned uh, from Arabic language that meaning of his tiqrar is right. Uh, uh, and then he mentions the hadith of Jaria. He, he said first that when the people have the difficulty, when a matter concerns them, the difficulty befalls them. Ibn Qudama said the same, they raise their faces to the heaven, they raise, they raise uh, their hands to the heaven, seeking succor from Allah. They don't seek succor from Ghaus, they seek succor from Allah, I mean Ghaus Abdul Qadr or any other, their Lord. And this is the common among the general masses as well as the elite. And the Prophet said to the slave girl whose master wished to free her if she was a believer. So the Prophet tested her, asking her, where is Allah? So he points, she pointed to the heaven. And he said, who am I? She said, you are the messenger of Allah. I said, free her, she's a believer. <coughs> so it suffused the messengers from her, her raising her first to the heaven and was content with that, requiring nothing else. So you can see the speech of the great scholar Ibn Abd al-Bar, or the Maliki scholar, praise him and revere him, uh, unlike the late misguided Asharis and Kothari and Jahmi. <coughs> al we great great um, uh, Shafi scholar, he's got his tafsir and Mishkat Masabi <coughs> Masabi Sunnah he first gathered it then Hafiz Tibrizi uh, 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 added to it uh, in his Mishkat Masabi and then Mullah al Qari interpreted Mishkat Masabi so he's a great muhaddis, he's a great mufassir uh, and, and he wrote in his uh, tafsir, I don't have but I will try to get it for the next reputations of uh, his tafsir, so people can see clearly the mazhab of the Salaf, page 280, what uh, uh, Hafiz Zahabi gathered from his saying in his Ulu. He says, Qala Imam Muhi Sunnah, Abu Muhammad al Hussein ibn Masud al Bagha wa Shafi, Sahib Ma'alim al Tanzil, the tafsir, Ma'alim al Tanzil. He said, Summa Astawa al Al Ash, Qala al Kalbi wa Muqatil Istakarra, wa Qala Abu Bida. Sa'ida, meaning he, so he established the meaning of istiqrar, settling upon. And he said, and the Mu'tazila, they interpret istiwa to mean istila. And he said, Ahl al-Sunnah, they say istiwa ala lahsh sifatullah bila kaif, yajibu iman bihi, it is an attribute of Allah bila kaif, meaning we do not do the, the kaif. So he meaning, mentioned the meaning of istiqrar, so they did not say we do not know the meaning of istiwad, rather they explained it by the words ulu, istiqrar and others, uh, uh, settling above. <coughs> Inshallah, if we have time, we will see it from the Kitab Sifat of uh, Darakut. I mean, I I'm going to quote it quickly. After mentioning all the attributes of the hands, the foot and all of the other attributes, he said at the end, that Hadassah Muhammad ibn Makhlad, Hadassah Abbas ibn Muhammad al Duwari, Kala Samir to Abba Ubaid al Qasim ibn Salam, he narrates from Abu Ubaid Qasim Salam, a great Imam of the Salaf, that about this hadith of the food uh, uh, and about the uh, Allah laughing and the others. He said, Fakala hadihi a hadith usi hadith, a hadith authentic, Hamala ashabul hadith wal fuqaha ba'du man ba'd. The, 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 uh, the scholars of Hadith and uh, Fiqh have narrated from each other and they are true for us, there is no doubt about it. But if it is, but when it is said, how did he put his foot? And how did he laugh? We do not do tafsir of it, meaning of what? Of the kafia. Kafia. You see, he did not say, we do not say the meaning is a note. You see, if someone asks her, how did he put his foot and how did he laugh? We say, we do not tafsir uh, of it and we have not do had anyone doing tafsir. <coughs> so this also shows that the Salaf, what they denied was the kafia, like Ibn Qudam and the others. Ibn Rajab said the kafia. Uh, uh, Abdel Qadir Jilani, they say without kafia, they use the word kafia. They didn't say the meaning is unknown, and they, they put all these attributes together hand, foot, knowledge, hearing. So if you said the, the, they meant the food, then you say, like the Jahmi, Allah doesn't see, Allah doesn't hear, Allah doesn't speak, I don't know what it means, Nazo Billah. And uh, he's put the Qadam with the uh, laughing. 
so uh, and the, the uh, Darakutni used this rule for all the attributes, you know, of laughing, of uh, all other attributes he quoted before. So you have to say that if he, he did uh, the tafwiz of some Darakutni, he, he should have done tafwiz of all the attributes he quoted in his book. <coughs> this narration is totally authentic. And in this, uh, uh, this uh, is not of um, to be, uh, Abu Ubaid Qasim is authentic. And also, uh, Bayhaqi narrated in his Asma wa Sifat from uh, the way of uh, Abu Sheikh, from uh, Abu Ubaid ibn Qasim Salam. And al Qasim in his uh, notes on uh, Asma wa Sifat of um, Bayhaqi, he said about Abu Sheikh, Hafiz Abu Sheikh, the author of the book Azama, he said he's mutakallim fihi, meaning he's spoken about, which is. Hafiz, uh, then he says, Hafiz Abu Ahmad al Asal from his country weakened him, and he was leaning towards Tajsim, now to Billah. He's saying Abu Sheikh, the great Muhaddis, was leaning towards Tajsim. And this, first of all, he's not Mutakalim Fihi. Hafiz Zahabi has got a book about narrators who are spoken about, and yet people were mistaken about the. the, the this. He, he didn't mention, nobody mentioned Ibn Hajar. Uh, uh, people doing jar of him, rather they describe him as a great Imam, Hafiz, Zahabi and others. Uh, as for his saying Hafiz Abu Ahmad al-Asal from his country, we can him, this Muallimi Albani and other scholars said we have found it nowhere, and the scholar, Saudi scholar Suleiman Sani from the Legend of Daima, he went many times to meet Kothar in his house to ask for the reference, where did Hafiz al-Asal, the great Hafiz, we can Hafiz Abu Sheikh, and he said Kothari never gave him, gave him the reference. And this shows that Kothari is a fabricator. Zabi said about Abu Sheikh, a person of the Sunan Ittiba. And, and what is totally ridiculous is that Kothari says about Hafiz al Asal that he was also leaning about, uh, uh, he quoted him among Mujassim as well. Naudhu Billah. And, and what is even, even Hafiz. Uh, Ahmad ibn Muhammad ibn Siddiq al Humari in his book against Kothari, rather al Kothari al Kothari, he says he weakens Hafiz Abu Sheikh a few pages after he quotes a saying of Abu Sheikh, a saying of statement of Jahat Ali against someone else, but he used the kunya of Abu Sheikh. And he said, What is this deception and talbis? So on page 86 of 87 of the same book, Tanib of Kothari, after weakening him and saying he was being weakened, uh, Hafiz Asa weakened, he used Abu Sheikh's statement showing his uh, deception. A few pages, it's like you weaken him, and a few pages after his trust was saying, you take his saying. So this shows the head of Kothari was playing with the deen. And he's the one behind insulting all the scholars of Tajseem and saying they had an evil creed. And unfortunately, the Ubandi, I mean, because they praise him, uh, Binori introduces Makala, they're influenced by such kind of thoughts. So Sakhawi and Zahabi relied, I mean Sakhawi in, in their books on Jahl wa Ta'adil, they relied on uh, Abu Sheikh's uh, statements on Jahl wa Ta'adil. And even Abu Ghuda, who has uh, edited many books of Sakhawi and Zahabi, he did not object on uh, Zahabi and Sakhawi. Abu Ghuda, the student of Zahid al Kothari. So this shows that Hafiz uh, Kothari to reject su such uh, hadith of uh, 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 um, Abu Ubaid Qasim bin Salam. That uh, how did Allah put his foot? Well, well, we don't know the cave, and we, uh, we have not heard anyone doing cave of it. Uh, Kothari tried tricking to deny them by lying and inventing upon the Salaf. So this is the reality of the people. Now we're going to see that um, after uh, Muhammad Yasir say, said, if we, uh, we can take these attributes meaning hand, eye, uh, uh, meaning if we take these attributes and the meaning the hand, the eye, in a literal meaning, automatically, automatically a person will form a body for Allah. So he's saying that if you take the meaning of hand, eye in a literal meaning, automatically you will form a body for Allah. Now I have the statement of, uh, which I already quoted in my lecture against Mumtazul Haq, of Imam Tirmizi in his Sunnah, we take our deen, we are hadith and proud of being Ayl al-Hadith. We take our creed, so Imam Tirmizi, 
said in his Sunan Tirmiz in the chapter of Father Sadaqa after mentioning the attribute in which mentioning Yameen meaning the right hand of Allah he said after هَكَذَا رُوِيَا عَنْ مَالِ وَقَالَ غَيْرُ وَاحِدْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ في هذه الحديث ما وما يشبه هذا من الروايات من صفات. said more than one person of knowledge said about this this hadith and resembling hadith about the attributes like the نزول of رب تبارك وتعالى كل ليلة تني للسماء الدنيا like the descent of Allah every third of the night. قال قد تثبت رواية في هذا the narrations about this are established. نؤمنوا بها ولا يتوهم. We believe in them and we do not create doubt about them. ولا يقالوا كيف. And we do not say how. So he said, is the كيف here which is unknown? He said هكذا رواية مالك بن الناس وسفيان من من عينا وعبد الله بن المورق وعبد الله بن المبارك. He said this is how it is narrated from Imam Malik ibn Sufyan ibn Uyna and ibn al-Mubarak أنهم قالوا في هذه الأحاديث they said about this أحاديث أميروا ها بلا كيف read them بلا كيف meaning without knowing how وهكذا قال أهل العلم من أهل السنة والجماعة and this is the saying of أهل السنة والجماعة أما الجحمية as for the جحمية فأنكرت هذه الروايات they denied this hadith وقالوا هذا تشبي they said this is تشبي meaning this entail anthropomorphism وقد ذكر عز وجل في غير موضع من كتابه اليد والسمع والبصر فتولت الجهمية هذه الآيات ففسروا على غير ما فسرها أهل العلم وقالوا إن الله لم يخلق آدم بيده وقالوا إن معنى اليد هنا القوة so he said, um, Allah SWT mentioned in many places of his book the attributes of hands, some of basar, listening and seeing. Look, like all the other scholars, the, uh, Qudama, Abdul Khadr Jilani, and <coughs> Abdul Ghani Magdisi, they put the attributes of hand food with the attribute of hearing and see, seeing. You know, if you, they did the ways of Yad. Would you say that they didn't know what the Sama and Basar means? Only a fool would say such. And he said the Jahmiya and uh, uh, Dita will of these verses and they explain them for Fasaruha uh, uh, in a way other than the people of knowledge explained it. And they said Allah did not cram uh, Adam with his hand and they said the meaning of, of hand here is Quwa, the power, the strength. And they said, وَقَالَ أَبُوِ سَعْقِ بِنِ إِبْرَاهِيمِ meaning Isaac ibn Rahawaya, one of the great imam. إِنَّمَا يَكُونُ تَشْبِي إِذَا قَالَ The tashbih is only, إِنَّمَا, إِنَّمَا يُفِيدُ الْحَصْرِ You see, is only tashbih, is only إِذَا قَالَ يَدُّكَ يَدِّن The hand is like my hand. This is Abdul Ghani Magdisi as well said this before. The hand of Allah is like my hand. Or مِثْلُ يَدِّن or like my hand. Or Samar Kasamahi, his hearing is like my hearing, or O Mislu Samar. Fayda Kala Samun Samahi, O Mislu Samar. You know? Fahada Tashbi, this is anthropomorphism. This is attributing a body. If you say Allah hears like I hear, Allah listens like uh, Allah sees like I see, Allah speaks like I speak, this is anthropomorphism. And likewise, if you say a hand like my hand, this is anthropomorphism. But when someone says the hand, the, the, the seeing and the hearing, and he does not say how oh, Allah's listening and hand is, and he does not say like my seeing, this is not anthropomorphism. كما قال تعالى في كتاب الله إسحاق مثل شيء وهو السميع البصير. so would you brothers and sisters choose the saying of إسحاق بن رهوى or the saying of محمد بن ياسر that believing in hand means you will make a body in your in your mind. so it's up on you to choose. I'm here quoting. you see I can't force you. 
you have to choose between the Imam of the Salaf, the great Imam Ibn Qudama, uh, Abdul Ghani Maqdisi, uh, all these scholars, Ibn Rajab, and all the Salaf, uh, Bagawi, uh, Ibn Khuzayma, Ibn Abdul Bar, you have to choose between them and between the late scholars, those who follow Ibn Arabi, Ibn al Kalam, and Falsafa, Ibn Sina. Do, uh, Ibn Arabi, you have quoted you, he said uh, Abu Bakr will be under my banner in his book, Anqa uh, Maghrib, the Phoenix, I mean, the, I don't know what is uh, the exact name of Phoenix, I mean, they give it a name in English, but a mystical bird on the mystical mountain Qaf, I mean, it's all khurafat and fairy tales, I mean, may Allah protect us from such creed, but take the creed from the good books uh, of the Salaf, Sunan Tirmizi, Sahih Bukhari, Abu Dawood, and, and, and don't take from Fusus al-Hikam and the book of Ahlul Kalam, the Salaf forbade and curse the people who, who learn Ilmul Kalam. Now, let's see Sunan Tirmizi, Ashraf Ali Tanvi has an explanation of Sunan Tirmizi. It is Taqdir Tirmizi by his student. Uh, it is uh, another son, it has been checked by Muhammad Taqi Usmani, one of the favorite of the Deobandi. So what did Ashraf Ali Tanvi, it is published by Darat Alif al page 189 and 190. So after mentioning the, this, what I've quoted before, the, the, the saying of Imam Tirmizi, he said, uh, he, it is his student uh, who gathered this saying of Ashraf Ali Tanvi, um, Taqrir Timizi from his teaching, and it has been agreed anyway by um, Mufti Muhammad Taqi Usmani. So his, his, uh, the, the student who gathered, he said, Maulana Sahib Farmati hai, ki Maulana Sahib Ashraf Ali Tanvi said, Bohut se ali ilm ye farmati hai ki in hadithun ko apne zahir par rakhne jai, yani yun ka aja ke Allah Tala ke haath bhi hai, aur pair bhi hai, aur aankh bhi hai, sab chizon ko, magar hum unki kefiyat se aga nahi. He said, many people of the knowledge said, these attributes of hand, foot, and eye. I mean, some people have known sense that we should say that Allah has a hand, has a foot, and, a, and an eye. But we do not know the kefia. See? The kefia. Even as Sharif Ali Khan, we said, so people, some people of knowledge said that Allah has a hand, has a foot, and has an eye, but we don't know the kefia. Jaisi khuda be misal hai, Allah has no similar. Jaisi unki zaad ka kama haq ko wadirak nahi ho sakta. Nobody can comprehend Allah's uh, <coughs> essence. And likewise, it is impossible to, to comprehend this um, attribute in sifat ka idirak mahal hai. Or salaf sahli hin, or ulama mutaqadimin ka yehi mazab tha. Meaning the, the uh, pious ancestors and the ancient scholars, this was the mazhab. You know, to believe that Allah has a hand, has a foot, but we don't know the kefiyah. And then he said, Or jahmiyah jo ke firqa islamiyah hai, wo in sab umur ki ta'wil kate hain. The jahmiyah, which is an Islamic sect, does ta'wil of this sect. Masalan yadullahi faqaidihim se murad quwwat hai. He said the, the, the meaning of hand in this verse, Allah's hand is above their hands, is uh, power. And he said the late scholars chose, opted for the mazhab of these innovators. And he said, for the mazhab of these innovators. And he said, meaning there were, because there was a need for it. Because else it was, there was uh, similitude with uh, the Christians and other excuses. So what did he say, Ashur Falitan? We will read again. Mona's Mutar for Mati Haki, a little for Mati in Hadis of the Zahir Paraki Jai, Yeni Yuka Jaga Kela Telaki Hat Beha or Per Beha or Rank Behind some Chizu, the Magar Inki Kafia Siaganahi. Jessica Hudabe Missalar, Jessica Kizat Kamahako, the Rakniki adjusts at Town Kisifa Kadrakbi Bahala, or Salaf Salin or Lom or Lama Mutakadimika Yimaza Tar, Jamia Joke Firka Islamia. وہ ان سب امور میں تعویل فرماتے ہیں مثلا یاد اللہ فقائدیم سے مراد ہے قوت کہتے ہیں اور متاخرین نے ان مبتدین کا مذہب اختیار کیا meaning the late scholars they chose the مذہب of these innovators and this he said that the تعویل of the جہمیہ 
the power, the head of Allah to mean the power, is the Tawil of the Jahmiyyah, and let's call it chose it, meaning among the Ashari Maturidi. Who chose. So Ashraf Ali Talbi told you the truth is you're a Hakim al Ummah, that the Salaf the, did not do Tawil of these attributes, and it's the late scholars who did it and they followed the Jahmiyyah who said, uh, who said this. <coughs> Now after this, Muhammad al Mufanna, the creed of uh, the Dioban, the elders, all the elders have signed this book. The book is of Khalil Ahmad Saharan Puri, but it has the signature of the main Diobandi scholars. In the 14 chapters, about the attribute, he said, منزيون عن صفات مخلوق وعن سمات نقص والخدوس كما هو كما هو را قد يا أسين ده سبحان أن أي من from our imam so he saying مرا مذهب يه هي كم إيمان لاتي هن كي كيفيت سي بحث ني كرتي يقينا جانتي هن كلا سبحان تلا مخلوق كي بس منزه هن so he saying that I was saying on the attributes and we will believe in them منو بيها Whatever you call the kafir, we do not say how. So the kafir is unknown, and we believe that Allah is purified from the attributes of the creation. Okay. Then he said, "Wama maqal al mutaakhirin min aimmatina," and what the late scholars from our Imam said, "Fitil ka ayat about these verses, you are willuna habita willat sahiha saiga fil lugha," meaning as for the what our late Imam said among the <coughs> their extrapolation, yet a correct and permissible extrapolation in the filuha in the language, washa, and the Arabic language, meaning that it is meaning that it is possible that the meaning of istiwa arising is istila, Allah conquering the throne. ومن اليد القدرة and from the hand a power إلى غير ذلك كن تقريبا إلى الأفهام القاسرين في حقي فحقنا أيضا عندنا he said this for us is also truth so he said what our late scholars did from the will of istiwa to istila meaning conquering Allah conquered the throne and his hand means his power he said, and they use this ta will because uh, the, the, the people who have defective intelligence cannot understand this. This is also true for us. So we can see that the major Deobandi is called like Muhammad Yassi said, we follow the Salaf. No. You follow the, according to your school, you follow the ta will of the, you also follow, obviously, the Deobandi school of thought, some of them did Tawil, some of them did Tafwid, meaning we don't know what the meaning is. Or the, but many of them did Tawil, and you have to say to the people like Ashraf Tanwi, this Tawil are the Tawil of the Jahmiyyah. And it's the Tawil of the lay scholar, and we can we will see after these are the Tawilat of the... The same Tawilat that Imam Tirmizi said, this is the saying of the Jahmiyyah, hands mean power, they say for us it is permissible. Na'udhu Billah. What the Salaf say, it is the meaning of the Jahmiyyah sect that the Salaf condemn and some the takfir of them. They say it is permissible to say that uh, for, for, for this. Now I have printed from the online version of the Ma'arif al-Quran of uh, Mufti uh, Muhammad uh, Shafi Usmani, the father of uh, Mulana Taqi Usmani. Uh, it is available online, 8 volume English PDF. It's already translated into English. He said in Surah Sa'ad, uh, uh, about the verse in which Allah said, Lima uh, khalaqtu When Allah said to Iblis, why you refuse to prostrate to, prostrate to the one I created with my hand? And we can see here, uh, Mulana Mufti Shafi Usmani did the ta'wil of the uh, 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 of the Jahmi and the Mu'tazila. He said, after saying, okay, there is a consensus among the majority of the Muslim Ummah that hands do not mean, the, uh, it's a page 539 of the, in Surah Sa'ad. So he said that the, um, 
the hands do not mean that Allah Ta'ala has hands as human beings do. Okay? We agree. The reason is that are absolutely pure and free from the need of body active limbs. Okay? Therefore, it means the power and control of Allah and that the word Yad is commonly used in Arabic language in the sense of power. And then he mentioned this Tawil. Therefore, the verse means I created Adam with my power. For that matter, everything in this owes its creation to nothing but the divine power, power. but when Allah intends to manifest the par particular sublimity of something, he will specially attribute it to himself. And then he said, this is from Tafsir al-Qurtubi. So he did the Tawil, he said, Allah created with my hand, he said I created with my power. And, and this, Ashraf al Tanbi in his Takrir is he told to be the Tawil of the Jahmiyyah. And we will see from Mullah Ali Qari, in his Shar Fiqh uh, Al-Akbar, Mullah Ali Qari, the same one who declared Ibn Arabi Kafir and refuted in detail, the same one who said Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Qayyim Josiah are from the sense of Ummah and free from uh, Tashbih. He, he says, Fiqh Akbar, Fiqh Akbar is a book of Imam Abu Hanifa. It is established to him. I mean, some people discuss about it, but most Hanafis, even the Uban is now, I've done a translation or I've seen a, in English of uh, Fiqh Al Akbar with her explanation. I forgot the name, but one of the Molana had translated it. So, I mean, generally, I mean, they studied this book as well, Shar Fiqh Akbar. So, they generally accept its authenticity. So, because it's not always the Isnad that prove uh, authentic if, if it's accepted by scholars and other criterions as well. So uh, Imam Abu Hanifa says in his Fiqh Akbar, He has a hand, a face, and a nafs, like he mentioned in the Quran. These are attributes without bilakef, meaning without knowing the how. وَلَا يُقَالُ It is not said إِنَّ يَدَهُ قُدْرَتُهُ That his hand is his power or ni'matahu or his إِنَّ يَدَهُ قُدْرَتُهُ or ni'matahu That his hand is his power or his uh, favor لِنَّ فِي إِبْتَالْ sifat Because this means uh, uh, cancelling the attributes, denying it وَهُوَ قَوْلْ أَهْلُ الْقَدْرِ وَالْإِعْتِزَالِ This is the saying of the Qadr al-Ihtizal, the Mu'tazila so the, the, the tafsir that it is Muhammad San Baur, the Ubandi who accept this as permissible, and what Mufti Shafi Usmani wrote, according to Imam Abu Hanifa, Rahimahullah, it is the ta'wil of the saying of the Mu'tazila and the Qadariya. Walakin Yadahu Sifatuhu Bila Kaif, but his uh, hand, it, it is his high attribute, and we don't know the Kaif. So his hand, his anger, you see, he, he put all these attributes together. So if you do tawil, you said here, but of hand he did tafwid. So Allah is not angry and he's not satisfied. Satisfaction for you, the uh, Tahawi said that uh, it is true attribute of Allah, his ghadab uh, and his um, anger and his. Uh, re, uh, Satisfaction. So Mullah al Qari, he said, Ulakin ya Yadahu Sifatu Bila Kaif, A Bila Marifa, Bila Marifati Kaifiyatihi, without the knowledge of its Kaifiyah. Ka Ajzina and Marifati Kunhu Bakiya Sifatihi, Fazl and Marifati Kunhu Zatihi, like our impossibility to know the rest, the reality of the rest of his attributes. So, what to say about the reality of his essence? So the hand for him is like all other attributes, seeing, hearing, speaking, life, nafs. You see, nafs, waj, yad. If you do tough ways of yad and waj, you should, what about nafs? And in Mulali Khan, he said like all the attributes. And then he mentioned from Hanafi scholars, from Usul Baza, we call a fakr al-Islam, is bat yad wal waj, haqqun indana. ولكن معلوم ومعلوم بيسله متشابه بوصفه ولا يجوز إبطال أصل عجز من صفة عن وصف بالكيف. هي كوت فخر السماء من البزدوي البزدوي نزو سول البزدوي.
He said, we do not, first he said, we do not do in the interpretation the, uh, the will of uh, Ghadab and Rida but by to intent of uh, vengeance and uh, desire of giving a favor. A and then he mentioned Fakhr al-Islam uh, min al-Bazdawi, Tangini al bazdawi and he blamed the Mu'tazila for denying uh, the, the, these attributes of hands and others. Uh, and this is also mentioned by Shamsul Ayman Sarkhasi. We will mention, inshallah, in detail further the saying of Bazar and Sarkhasi. But here, I mean, I have mentioned the saying of Mullah Liqari. And he mentioned after mentioning other attributes. They should be taken upon the apparent meaning. And he said we should tafwid of the matter of the knowledge. You know, not the meaning, the matter. Uh, meaning, meaning the, the, and we, the kafia, like he said before. So he said they should be taken upon the apparent meaning. Well, you for we do amr ilmihi, not the ilmihi. He said the amr is the matter. And, and before he said the kafia. So here it is clear that what should be referred to the to Allah is not the meaning but the kafia. Because he said we should be they should be taken upon its apparent meaning. And before he said a bila ma'rifa kafiatihi. And like our impossibility to know the the, the, the reality of the other attributes, meaning all attributes. So the, the meaning of all these colors is clear. So, inshallah, we'll stop here. And then in the second part, inshallah, I, I will refute the claim of anthropomorphism uh, from Majmu Fatawa and others. But I will just uh, tell about the sifat of hand and others. Uh, uh, the book Irshad of Juwaini, translated into English, uh, Juwaini on page 86, he says about the two hands, the two eyes, and the face. Even the early Asharis like Baqilani and Bayhaqi, they established this. It's only the late Asharis who denied them. And the early ones, they established it like the others had been hearing, seeing. So if, uh, uh, I mean, they, uh, they established the same, in the same manner, the, the hand and the face, uh, as they established um, hearing and seeing. But Juwaini, he refused, he's a late Ashari, he refused the early Asharis. He says, certain of our masters maintain that the two hands, the two eyes, and the face are proper attributes of the Lord, or of the Lord God, and that is proven by tradition rather than rational proof. But what is correct in our view is that the hands should be constructed as power, the eyes as vision, and the face as existence. Those who affirm that these attributes are determined by tradition hold also that they are additional to the ones indicated by reason. I use, for example, as a statement of God, in the reprimanding Iblis for refusing to prostrate himself before Adam, what prevents you from prostrating yourself before what I created with my own hands? <coughs> According to them, there is no way to take the hands as meaning power because all originated things are inventions that the exalted, exalted God created by means of his power. In construing it like this, it loses its specific implication in this case. Then he refuted them. But he said the first one, they refused to, to say it has no way to, 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 to uh, uh, extrapolate uh, hand to power. And then he said at the end, after arguing with the early Asheris, those of our colleagues who prefer to affirm these attributes on the basis of the literal meaning of this verse are forced as consequence of the argument to make attributes in their uh, adherence to the literal sense out of speech. Uh, out of sitting on the throne, coming, descending, and having and other attributes, which you see are having a side. But if allegorical interpretation is permitted for the items where it is generally agreed upon, it is not unreasonable method to apply for those who have mentioned. So basically he's saying to them that those who take the literal meanings of this verse, that he's blaming them that why you don't take the literal meaning of the other verses? of the throne of Allah's coming and descending and other attributes. So you see, he's, uh, contra he's uh, showing, <coughs> he's contradicting them that basically these people have no rules uh, about the name. Uh, and it's because of the ilm al-kalam that they reject this. Even Abu qasim al-Qushayri, who was from the early Asharis, in his Risala, a book of Sufism, 
translated into English by Sufis, page uh, 15, translated by Rabbi Haris, he says, among the attributes of Allah, the living one po through possessing love, the permanent one through possessing permanence, he possesses two hands which are two attributes with which he created exactly what he wills. He possesses a face and essential attributes specific to of his being and which it cannot be said that they hold that they are he or that they are walking. Okay, this is one of the stuff. So he is mentioning among the other attributes, the willer, the seer, the one speaking, he has two hands where attributes, he's got a face. And, and these two, he has two attributes with which he creates. So you know, so it means the meaning of known, the meaning is known to them because it's an attribute by which he creates. And he's an attribute put together with the other attribute, the knower, the one speaking, the one uh, seeing. So for them, the, the Ali Asharis, Bakilani and others, they believed in hand in the same meaning as the others, but Juwani and the later Asharis, they rejected this. So it is a way to... So inshallah, in the next lecture, I will carry on from this one, and I will explain what Shatibi means. Uh, 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 and um, as well, I will quote all the quotes from the Salaf. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, what um, Muhammad Yasser uh, attributed and from form of Islam. And when you read the full text, you, you see I mean, Ibn Taymiyyah as a real meaning and to, uh, uh, to whom he attributed his saying to the great Imams of the Salaf. So this attribution of, of evil to Imam Ibn Taymiyyah is actually attributing evil to the Salaf. Uh, and this is for the Muqallidin. I mean, they say Imam Shafi has ignorance that won't be forgiven and the same. Imam Malik and uh, uh, Imam Ahmad had the same opinion as Shafi'i. So this is well known from, uh, from these people. Uh, uh, I mean, um, we will make a dua to Allah, that Allah SWT guides them. And inshallah, in the second part of, the, uh, of this uh, lecture, inshallah, I will refute in detail all the, clarify the statements of Ibn Taymiyyah and others. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammad kama sallayka ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka amidu mujid Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka amidu mujid